I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog .stampwithelaine.com. This is the fourth card in my Swirly Bird if series. If you're new to my stampwithelaine.com YouTube channel, the first card in my Swirly Bird series was published on Friday 2nd June and following that the rest were published on consecutive Wednesdays. Hit the subscribe button so you can get regular updates if you haven't already. I post twice a week on a Wednesday and a Friday and sometimes I do bonus videos too. All my videos are free tutorials but they do take time and effort to produce and I'd really appreciate it if you could help support my business by purchasing products through my online store. So thank you in advance and if you do make a purchase do use the co-hostess code if your purchases are below £150, but if your purchase is more than £150, then you can claim the Stampin' Rewards for yourself and you don't need to put the code in. All my online customers receive a thank you card and a little gift from me, so um, I'd really appreciate it. Today's card, we're going to be using that little bird. This is the card we'll be making. Let's gather our supplies. The stamp sets you need are the Swirly Bird Bundle which includes the dies. Which are called Swirly Scribble Thinlets dies. We'll also be using the sentiments from the Ten of Cards Photopolymer set. Inks we are using are Mint Macaron, Sahara Sand and Pool Party. I'm also using the Pool Party marker pen linen thread, a half inch circle pad, and some clear blocks with which to mount the stamps on. The ones I've used are A, B and C and I've also used G. The cardstock I'm using is Mint Macaron. This is half a sheet of A4 cut at 5 and 7 8 inches by 8 and a quarter and in centimetres that's 14.9 by 21 centimetres and it's been scored in half at 4 and 1 8 inches which is 10.5 centimetres. Nice. Whisper White layer is 5 and a half by 3 and 3 quarter inches so that's 14 centimetres by 9.5 centimetres and I've also got a scrap of very vanilla to stamp the little bird on which is this bird here and the eggs and also a scrap of crumb cake cardstock. We also need the magnetic platform, cutting plates and the big shot. On my scrap of very vanilla I'm going to stamp my bird first in Sahara sand then I'm going to stamp the eggs I wanted it a paler shade, <clears throat> so I've stamped off first before stamping onto my cardstock. Just zoom in a little closer so you can see the speckled eggs. Then I'm going to fussy cut that. Bring in my magnetic platform, base cutting plate, cardstock and the lie which is this one with the cutting edge face down, top cutting plate and I'm ready to run that through the big shot. So I'll do that off camera. Now I've got my elements together, I'm ready to do the main layer. I'm going to be stamping this image here with mint macaron. I'm just stamping on a foam mat because this is photopolymer and there is no cushion on it so the piercing mat acts as a cushion. Take the die cut and just pop a bit of glue on the die with a fine tip glue pen Now 
Next I'm going to wind the linen thread round one finger, sort of two or three times, then over two, two fingers and take that off my finger and snip it off. Grab some glue dots. Pop a dimensional on the back of the bird. And stick them in the middle. Take the linen thread and wind it round three fingers loosely and then four fingers. glue dots and attach it to the glue dot to keep it together. Then I'm going to use the pattern and stamp off before stamping on because I only want a faint mark. I'm going to stamp the leaves which is the small and the big leaf and I've mounted it on the block on the same block I'm going to just stamp just because card from the tin of card stamp set. Take the half inch circle punch. I don't know whether you can see this. I'll try and zoom in. See, I've marked my punch uh, in quarters, so it's half there with a red marker pen, a sharpie pen, and there's a red dot there and one there as well and the reason I've done that um, is because it will just make it easier for me to line up we've lost our punch that used to take a quadrant out of the <clears throat> cardstock to make it pretty um, so this is an alternative way of doing it on the back pop it onto your card front and there you go. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe or share on Facebook and my grateful thanks if you do. If you're watching from YouTube, you'll find the list of supplies I use below this video in the show more section with direct links to my online store. They will also be listed on my blog here at blog.sampwithelaine.com you can find me on Facebook, Pinterest or Instagram. Thanks for watching and I'll be back with a bonus video. So